Now, now th there is a doubt. The question is, see, I have taken this here. I, I, I divided the current here I2, and and it went here. Now from here I3 is coming in. The question is, why does not I3 get divided into something here? Say I4, I4 from from here to here, and, and something else here. The the, the 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 answer is once you have fixed the direction of current, you're not supposed to change it. This this current is the current in the steady state and it is coming there. Now you are coming with an I3 here, so so there is no other way than to add them and, and, and push a current I2 plus I3 in the branch D to C. Because if you take say another variable opposing this, then the net current here is I2 minus I4. Now when you come here, you say that 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 I take a current I5 here, so this becomes I1 minus I5. You come here, you say there is a current I6 here. So it will, it will create you know an eternal loop where you will be coming up with say hundreds of variables, which is not correct. Correct? It will not have so many variables. So we say that once you have fixed the value, it is fixed. And you introduce the new ones as you move in. And, and now since it is fixed, I3 is coming from here, you have no other way than to push a current I2 plus I3 here. The same thing here, the, the, there is a, there's a current I3 coming here and, and per force from there the, the current I1 minus I2 minus I3 is coming here. Now you have no way, you just have to add them and whatever comes in goes there. Okay, so at every junction or in any branch, if you fix the current, it remains fixed. It does not kind of in another, in another iteration, it does not change, it cannot. If it changes, then unnecessary variables keep on getting introduced and you never reach a steady state. Correct? And after you have you have marked them, you, you'll see that, that 6 upon 17 is coming here and 6 2 upon 17 is going there, so 4 upon 17 is left. 6 upon 17 is going here, 4 upon 17 is coming here, so, so they add up to give you 10 upon 17, that is fine. 10 upon 17 here, 4 upon 17 here, so yes, 6 upon 17 here. 4 upon 17 here and, and 2 upon 17 is getting added from here. What we had taken was wrong. The yellow one is the correct direction, 4 upon 17 in AB, 2 upon 17 in DB, they add up to give you give you 6 upon 17 in, in BC and, and these two again add. So at all the points you see here, KCL, KCL getting satisfied, right? So, so that is the solution of the circuit, okay? Now, there is an interesting thing that, 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 that I would like to introduce at this point of time. What happens is, is if I ask you to find the equivalent resistance of the circuit, the whole thing, okay, what do you do? See, you have applied a voltage equal to 10 volt, correct? You have applied a voltage equal to 10 volt. And the current that this is sending from here is 10 upon 17. So you can, if, 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 if you write the whole circuit, it kind of looks like that. That if there is an equivalent resistance here, which is equal to R, R equivalent, R equivalent, and, and there is 10 volts here. And this is drawing the whole circuit. The whole circuit, as seen from here, is drawing a current of 10 upon 17 amperes. Then the the equivalent resistance. Let me let me use a different color. Equivalent resistance or equivalent is equal to the voltage upon the current. So 10 upon upon 17. So so that gives me 10 into 17. 10 into 17 upon 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 10 and, and that gives you that gives you 17 ohms so so you see after you've solved it after you've solved the circuit which is maybe not not reducible by applying the series parallel combinations then the best way to do is is is, is to is to is to is to push is to take some voltage push some current and then find out in the end the voltage upon the current that that this circuit is taking so the equivalent resistance of all this of all this that means if you hold the circuit from here and here and and, and obviously remove this okay so obviously kind of remove this and you use a multimeter to 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 measure the current between this 
uh, to, to measure the measure the measure the resistance I'm sorry not current to measure the resistance between this the multimeter will show you 17 ohms get that correct so apart from solving this a question may be asked without asking you to solve this what is the total equivalent resistance of the circuit and and, and so so willy-nilly you have to kind of start solving this using KVL and KC. Okay? So so that that is maybe a, 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 a question that 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 will kind of may 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 topple you suddenly. Okay. But but this is a question that may be asked. The question can be can be find uh, let me let me use some brighter color. So let me uh, uh, write this. The the question apart from being that you have to solve the circuit, so for the same thing, the question can be reworded to be this: find the equivalent resistance of the circuit, resistance of the circuit. The question is find the and and when they give that to you. They might just give it to you like this. That, that, that's another another trouble that you may face. Okay? They'll not even 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 include that. They'll just they'll say find out the equivalent resistance of the circuit between A not not A, hold on. Between P Q, yes. So you will have to you will have to you will have to connect a you will have to connect a voltage source between this okay as you you may use 10 volt you use 100 volts or whatever so it won't matter if you use 100 volt then this current will go up to 100 upon 17 10 times 10 times it's a linear circuit okay if you see. okay so 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 get that okay did we get that? Yes. That's great. So, 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 so it can be reworded like that, and you won't be given a given a voltage source here. So you apply a voltage source of your own choice, maybe one, one volt. So you you get kind of one by seventeen amperes. But the equivalent resistance will come to be the same. So either this or or maybe differently worded, it'll be kind of if, if differently worded, you you may, you may, you may be given this thing and 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 given the you may be given the voltage source and you may be asked to 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 solve for to solve the circuit usually this but it is no wonder if someone maybe drops drops a twisted version of it, right that can happen 